think tanks and industry bodies have been the subject of targeted cyber attack for some time. Our threat intelligence cell has seen a particular campaign against think tanks over the last year. They are attractive targets because they have an unusual combination of a high level of trust amongst the participants with relatively low resources for defence. Attackers want to access their networks for two purposes. Firstly, they're interested in the conversations and policy discussions that go on with inside those organisations. And secondly, they're interested in using them as staging posts to attack major corporations and government departments. They'll do this either by compromising email infrastructure to be able to send spear phishing attacks or by compromising websites to be able to undertake watering hole attacks. We investigated recently an attack on a major think tank where their website was compromised. The compromise was undertaken using an exploit that had only been publicly known about for a few days. Anyone who accessed the website would have had software downloaded onto their machine that would have given a toehold to the attackers. Given the nature of the, of the think tank, most of the people accessing the website would have been doing so from the machines of major corporations. We traced the attack group to be a nation state with a particular interest in commercial espionage. As the level of security of government departments and major corporations increases, we can, it would expect to see continued attention on the weakest link of the chain and that will often be industry bodies or think tanks. As a corporation, what we can do about that is we can make sure that our or staff understand that communication and discussions that go on inside those bodies is happening outside the organisation and should be treated as such. We can also apply particular attention to the monitoring of email and web traffic between our network and those organisations.